Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are getting around to finally harvesting garlic. Now, I really should have gotten this done probably at least a couple weeks ago. Uh, here we are, the I guess end of end of July, beginning of August, something like that. And uh, we're we're a little bit past when we should have should have had these up. Uh, as you can see, all the leaves on our stems are dried up. Uh, I should have gotten it when some of these were still a little bit green, but. Uh, I guess, you know, better late than never. All right, so we're gonna just harvest these, I guess in the same order that we, uh, we planted it. And we're gonna start on this row here. And this is a hardneck variety. And I believe that this one is music, if I recall right. All right, well that's the one up. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really less than impressed with the size of these bulbs. Now, the interesting thing is, I was actually talking to someone a week or two ago who had just harvested theirs, and they said the same thing, that their, their bulbs were really small. So I don't know if it's just something that this past year wasn't good for growing garlic, or whether maybe the both of us are just really bad at it. I don't know, one or the other. But anyway, let's get working on this next row. This is the uh, red red chestnut, I believe. So the soft neck is right through here, but I'm gonna skip that. And we're gonna do these guys here right in front because these are more of the, uh, the red chestnut. And so we'll just go ahead and get all those done at the same time. Woo! Now that, that is the nicest bulb that I've pulled up so far. All right, well, I guess while we're on this road, let's go ahead and see if our elephant garlic did anything. All right, and last but not least, we got our soft necks here. All right, well here we have it. We got our elephant garlic, our soft neck. That's the red, yeah, that's the red chestnut. And then that over there is music. Uh, definitely didn't quite get what I was hoping to get out of here. Um, all of these, these bulbs are really small. A couple of them from each of the, the two hard neck varieties are about what I expected to get, but the rest of them are a, a good bit smaller, so. Uh, a little, little disappointed with what I got, but I did end up with more than I planted, so I guess you know that's that's good. I'll probably try it again this year. I'll I'll save some of the uh, the best looking ones from these and and try planting them again uh, here in another probably month or two, I guess. Now, on some of the bulbs, something was starting to nibble on them a little bit, and I I don't know if that's just because I'd left them out here too long and something found them at that point, and because they were past when they should have been harvested. Uh, that's probably my guess. Uh, it was just because I'm a little late getting to it, but uh, for the most part, they look all right. Now, I, I might do something with trying the different types. I'm not quite sure how I would do that and seeing if I can even notice any difference in the flavors between them. Um, 
definitely not going to bite into them like an apple, but if I could figure out some way to, uh, to try them up with something, on something, whatever, to where uh, the garlic flavor itself would be fairly prominent, uh, I might try doing that to see if there's even you know, a, a noticeable difference between them. But anywho, that is going to be it for this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.